Hello everyone, you are on the channel Rewatch. Today, I will explain the plot of the peppy comedy Cashback from 2006. Ben says you know Kung Fu. Yeah. <laughs> a passive art college student named Ben Willis has a conflict with his girlfriend Susie and she dumps her boyfriend. For Ben, this gap is a real disaster. He hears terrible news and the time for the student almost stops. In the university cafeteria, Ben looks longingly at Susie, who is now dating with Steve. A friend of Ben named Sean sits down at the table and asks him about Susie. He replies that his ex-girlfriend was always looking for the best in life and decided to find a better guy. Sean advises his friend to meet with a beautiful fashion model. Then Susie will be jealous and return to him. Ben doubts this since Sean was constantly rejected by the girls. For life drawing lessons, students must draw a naked man. Ben is immediately distracted by the beautiful girl opposite and draws her charming face. But the teacher does not appreciate the student's creativity and tells him to show respect for the model. Ben takes the breakup very hard, especially when he hears the sound of lovemaking behind the dorm wall. He calls Susie trying to make peace with her, but she replies that their relationship has run its course. The guy has severe depression, and now he simply cannot sleep and is trying to occupy himself with something 24 hours a day. One night, Ben walks into a 24-hour supermarket and sees an advertisement for a night shift. He fills out a form, and the manager of the store, Jenkins, takes the guy to work. The student is glad that finally his life will change. One night, Ben thought while looking at the scattered peas, Jenkins brings the guy to his senses and screams for him to quickly clean everything up. But the co-worker pays attention to the customer's underwear and thinks that he simply loves to draw graceful female forms. The manager gives the student a slap so that he finally cleans up the peas. In the store, most of the employees are trying to kill time in their own way. Cashier Sharon tries not to look at her watch, otherwise the time will go painfully long. Barry fools around at work and generally considers himself a cool stuntman. Barry has the same goofy friend, Matt. Their favorite pastime is to put a vibrator in the cart for a woman and see if they will pay for it at the checkout. And only Jenkins appreciates every second of this time and tells board employees that he is like a god at work. After going without sleep for two weeks, Ben is lost between reality and fantasy. He imagines that time is frozen and can stop it at any moment he likes. At such moments, it is ideal to enjoy the beauty of the female body. When Ben was seven years old, his parents rented a room to a Swedish student. She did not hesitate to go completely naked for the shower to her room. It was then that the boy appreciated the beauty of the female figure and decided to become an artist. In the moments of time stops in the store, Ben undresses all the beautiful customers and draws them naked. Then the guy just snaps his fingers and time starts to flow normally. Sean comes to the hostel to Ben and the guy remembers the case when they were 12 years old. That day, Sean's mother went to the store and the boy showed his friend the dirty magazines that his parents hid in the kitchen. Ben was surprised with how shamelessly these models posed completely naked, but suddenly mom returned. The guys managed to hide the magazines, but the woman noticed their arousal and thought they were gay. At the dorm, Sean advises Ben to hang out with a couple of Natalies to distract himself. For him, Natalie is any girl for one night. Sean began to call the girls that after talking with his neighbor. The boy realized that the girls get naked for money and offered his piggy bank to a neighbor named Natalie. In exchange, she showed her charms. Soon, Natalie became the most popular girl on the street. During the next shift, Ben meets Sharon in the locker room. A sweet and charming girl bites off a guy's sandwich. She has a drop of ketchup on her cheek. Ben wipes it off and the cashier smiles sweetly. The guy wants to stop time, but for some reason this trick does not work with Sharon and he only slows it down a little. In the market, Matt brags that he asked Sharon out on a date and this makes Ben very upset. The guy remembers all the loves in his life. The strongest of them was a girl named Tanya. One day, the girl broke her arm and they put a cast on her. But when it was finally removed, classmates began to mock Tanya since her hand was thick with bristles. Ben supported her in a difficult moment and she became his girlfriend. 
Tanya offered to kiss for the first time, but Ben gets lost and runs away. The boy greatly regrets this, since soon Tanya and her family move to America. Jenkins announces that all the guys from the store are playing football with a nearby market on Sunday. Sharon is rooting for hours. Jenkins' team is stupid and loses with a score of 26 to 0. Jenkins, during a timeout, begs the guys to score at least one goal, but unfortunately, the manager misses and the ball bounces to Matt. The guy hits and hits the boss right in the face. Blood is gushing from Jenkins' nose, and Matt has to take him to the hospital. Ben accompanies Sharon, and they go in for tea. The guy finds out that Matt didn't sleep with a girl. They share their dreams with each other. Ben tells that he is learning to draw. Sharon confesses that she always wanted to meet the artist, as they can see the beauty in ordinary things. Ben escorts his colleague and, confused, kisses her on the cheek. Jenkins announces that everyone should come to his birthday party on Sunday. Sharon suggests that Ben go together as a couple and he happily agrees. Jenkins tasks Ben with delivering a stripper to the party. Sean agrees to help his friend on the condition that he also goes to the party. At the strip club, Sean makes a deal about a girl. As he talks, Ben dreams of a strip tease from Sharon. The girl in his fantasy dances beautifully at the pole and beckons the guy to her. At work, Ben no longer thinks about Susie. Now all his thoughts are absorbed only by Sharon. He stops the moment to capture the beauty of the girl on canvas again and again. Before the party, Sharon asks Ben if he's changed his mind. Ben nods happily and Sharon kisses him. This kiss finally allows the guy to sleep for the first time in a month. He is awakened by a call from a man who promises to exhibit the student's work in the gallery. But unfortunately, this is just a prank on two morons from work. Everyone prepares for the party and Ben happily informs Sharon that his work is interested in the gallery. The girl is happy for her friend and they go to a party. The girl gets right in the middle of a party. Sean is sent to another girl. Matt and Barry have a funny dance and Jenkins is a DJ tonight. Ben is surprised to see Susie at the party since her boyfriend Steve is Jenkins' brother. After an awkward meeting scene, the couple enjoy the evening. A stripper arrives and does a lap dance for Jenkins. It turns out that the stripper is the same Natalie from Sean's childhood. They decide to have a drink together. Ben is in line for the toilet and meets Susie again. Meanwhile, Jenkins is molesting Sharon downstairs. Barry wants to roll down the stairs in a cardboard box and everyone would look at this nonsense. Susie tries to kiss Ben, wanting the guy back. Sharon looks at Barry accidentally spots the kiss and runs off in a rage. Ben pushes Susie away, stops time, and descends to a fleeing Sharon. The guy understands that although he has learned to stop time, he cannot turn it back. Ben spends two days in a frozen world, doesn't come up with anything, and Sharon runs away. The guy comes to the girl's house, but he does not want to hear anything and only screams. Sharon doesn't show up for work and Ben suffers from insomnia again. The guy brings his work to the gallery, but when the owner explains that he has never heard of Ben, he understands that his colleagues have played him. However, the owner asks to see the drawings of the novice artist and after evaluating them, offers to exhibit the part in his gallery. One day, Sharon receives an invitation to Ben's exhibition and against all odds, decides to come. The girl is surprised that all the pictures in the gallery are dedicated only to her. Sharon meets Ben and he again tries to explain what happened, but the girl replies that the photos speak for him better than any words. Ben kisses Sharon and time stops again, only this time the girl feels everything with him. They go out into the street, where thousands of snowflakes are frozen in the air. The lovers kiss and the movie ends. What would you do if you learned to stop time? Write about it in the comments. Good luck to everyone and goodbye.